decorations, costumes, candy. Halloween's big for business, but the holiday took a big hit last year with the pandemic curbing trick-or-treating and stopping costume parties. But as Forrest Sanders found out, this year is a different story. It's that time of year when the air gets a little chillier, when neighborhoods start looking a little spookier. And no place has been looking forward to this more than what's beyond this door. I uh, really loved everything about like that vintage Halloween vibe. Peyton Ford runs the ghostly production store in Owensboro, Kentucky, a place of Vincent Price, of Bella Lugosi, of monsters and madmen, and sometimes seasonal potpourri. A pumpkin mask here that has the movable jaw on it. Peyton even makes some of this stuff, like this whole row of masks in this nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy phone. Completely hand sculpted and hand painted. To be frank, it was a little scary for Peyton opening his shop in 2020. Definitely weird at times. But Peyton also knew Halloween is big business. Let's say this pile of candy corn represents the $9 billion Halloween generated each season for several years before the pandemic. Well, 2020 saw some costume and candy sales drop, taking the total amount Halloween made to $8 billion. Still a big number, partly because outdoor decoration sales were so strong. If they weren't able to go out and do anything for Halloween, they were not decorate their house for Halloween. Well, COVID and particularly the Delta variant are still very present. We are in a in a really different place than we were last year. Catherine Cullen of the National Retail Federation is looking at the projections for Halloween 2021. Many consumers are feeling safer and they're feeling like they, they can celebrate in some ways. We are seeing this pent up interest in sort of celebrating this holiday this year. Cullen breaks Halloween spending into three major categories, decorations, costumes and candy. And for 2021, the National Retail Federation is projecting candy to bring in $3 billion. Expecting decorations to bring in $3.2 billion. And costumes, $3.3 billion. In fact, the average American is expected to spend $102 and 74 cents for Halloween this year. Between the candy, the decorations, the costumes, the Halloween trees, we're expected to surpass $10 billion in Halloween spending this year, an all-time high. And that is a lot of spider web. So as the days get closer to October 31st, in a shop that is all things scary, all things Vincent, Bella, and Freddy, it's good to know Halloween is back. In Owensboro, Kentucky, I'm Forrest Sanders. Thank you for joining us this week for our conversation about where we stand when it comes to the economy in America. Next week, we take a look at jobs, the resources for people who can't work because of long COVID and what's fueling a rush of resignations. Until then, from Los Angeles, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.